Most of the people are making money within 24 to 48 hours. And the house just arrived. If you don't make your first commission or sale in the first 14 days, we're gonna pay you for every assignment successfully completed. And to prove you can buy $30,000 Amazon houses, I brought a video for you. And right after that, I'm gonna show you how to use copy and paste rentals to profit from vacation rental homes you don't own. And the house just arrived. What if I told you that you could buy a house on Amazon for just $30,000? Now, did you guys not see that it's a home that came in a box? Now, I deal with businesses in a box, but this is a home that came in a box. You might think I'm joking, but I'm not. That's exactly what one TikToker did, and he documented his experience in a series of viral videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how he bought a tiny home on Amazon, what it looks like, and what challenges he faced along the way. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you don't want to miss this, so stick to the end of the video to see it all. Okay, so, so one, one of the things, things I want to point out that he said is all the challenges that it took for this dude to do this. So this is a cool idea, especially if you plan on putting these on Airbnb, or I like to call it Scarabnb, to make you some money back. But what I'm going to show you is you don't need to have any properties. You don't even have to buy a home from Amazon or do any of that. We're going to leverage other people's properties, and we're going to make profit from it every single month. But keep watching. The global housing crisis is undeniable, and social media has become the stage for individuals to unveil their survival strategies. From a wild $900 rental offer suggesting yeah. bed sharing with the landlady to an influencer facing backlash for flaunting her first home purchase, the internet has witnessed a spectrum of housing tales. But just when we thought we'd seen it all, a new chapter unfolds. Meet Graham, the innovative TikToker shaking up the housing crisis narrative with his unconventional solutions. Under the handle at Gilgra 2024, Graham might have just cracked the code on overcoming housing woes. In a viral TikTok clip, he unveils his latest hack. Purchasing a tiny home straight from Amazon for $32,475. All right, so I know a lot of you guys don't have $32,000, so don't leave the video. I'm going to show you a solution. But this, for those do, that do have that, don't forget Amazon has like financing and everything like that, guys. So does Home Depot if you wanted to purchase one of these tiny homes. Then you can just put it on Airbnb, optimize it properly, and all that stuff like I'm going to show you in the video later. Uh, but I'm also going to show you how to do this without having to purchase this because I know $32,000 for a lot of you guys is like what why am i even watching this so i'm going to show you how to take 97 dollars and do something similar copy paste style where you don't have to have the property you don't have to like build anything you don't have to wait for anything to be set up it's already set up for you and you simply optimize things properly and get the rentals coming in and make a lot of money using a zero interest credit card placing it strategically on a segment of his 13 acre land graham exemplifies a new wave of ingenuity in tackling housing challenges as a content creator delving into real estate, investing, and entrepreneurship, Graham boasts a dedicated following of over 300,000 on TikTok. All right, so another thing about copy and paste rentals, you don't have to have a following to do what I'm going to show you. You can still participate and dominate in the real estate sector, namely vacation home rentals. Uh, also, this guy, he does a lot of investments. He has a 13-acre uh you know, a lot of land. So, I mean, he's miles ahead of most of you guys watching this right now. Technically, we're just watching this to show you that it's possible and everything, but I don't want you guys to actually go out and buy an Amazon tiny house to be able to participate. I'm going to show you, like, what to do to be able to partner with people that already have extraordinary and unique properties, and then you'll be able to start making money from it in less than 24 hours, like you see in my testimonials on the channel. One fateful day, Graham's browsing session led him to a remarkable find on Amazon, the Doi Nuo Mobile Expandable Prefab House with Restroom Outdoor. Mm. This gem measured 19 by 20 feet, boasting a spacious 380 square feet of living space. Delivered straight to his doorstep by truck and easily installed on any level ground, it was the epitome of convenience. Equipped with a fully functional kitchen, bathroom, living room, bedroom and closet, this foldable abode offered everything one could desire. So for those of you guys who are single, over the road truck drivers, or just not planning on having any kids or anything like that, this might be a viable solution for you. You might not need to go and get uh, a house built or rent out somebody else's house. A 30K, you know what I'm saying, investment or $32,000 investment, this is, this is yours now. You understand what I'm saying? But there's things that go into this and we're gonna keep going. It's expansive windows, lofty ceilings, and integrated LED lighting elevated its appeal even further. And the best part? The price tag read a mere $30,000, plus tax and shipping. A steal for such a versatile living solution. Intrigued by the opportunity, Graham made the bold decision to purchase the house on Amazon, 
leveraging an interest-free credit card to okay and that's what i was talking about earlier they have an interest-free credit card but a lot of you guys don't have like decent credit you want you wouldn't even be able to get it approved or something like that you know what i'm saying uh so i mean what do you do let me go ahead and show you what you do now that you guys have seen the house and everything actually let's see if we can get a tour of the house like a better tour okay so this is better let's go ahead and move into this in less than four years a promising prospect indeed but his ambitions didn't stop there with an entrepreneurial spirit driving him forward he envisioned creating a tiny home community expanding wow. his portfolio and fostering a unique living experience Brimming with enthusiasm, Graham couldn't resist but share his latest triumph with his TikTok family. With a grin stretching from ear to ear, he eagerly announced, You can buy anything on Amazon. His video rippled across yeah, the platform, sparking a whirlwind of reactions ranging from awe. So he basically went viral off this mug. That's, hey, start picking up the camera and recording the... Or or the phone and start recording the stuff that y'all are doing on a daily basis. He didn't do this for content. It became content for something that he was already doing. What I like about this situation is he's doing what I'm trying to do out here in Panama. He's going to create a whole community of little tiny houses. Mine's aren't going to be tiny, but pause. Uh, <laughs> but like, this is crazy. This is awesome. And he's only, a, you know, did they say he was 20 years old? I forgot how old they said he was, but this is Keller right here. Let me show you guys how to make money with this without having to purchase a home or a tiny home off of Amazon and start trying to flip it so here we are everybody can make them a free airbnb account guys and i'm just using st louis as an example right here what we're going to do is we're going to find people that need our help what do i mean see remember we were talking about him buying the home on amazon and then trying to profit from it we want to leverage we want to jump ahead fast forward to the money you understand what i'm saying like the click adam Sandler movie so what we do is we find a decent city and there's a lot of ways that we show you how to do this inside the copy and paste rentals of uh, course. So when you search the city, you want to browse uh, by, you know, we, you could just start at the beginning or you can go to the filters and be like, OK, entire home right here. And then what we want to do is we want to say at least three bedrooms because that means it's going to be a decent amount uh, per month for them to be able to like pay for the rent, especially if they're going hard like that. OK, especially if they're trying to stay a whole month. OK, so now we have a uh, guest favorite super host. What you want to do is you want to avoid those. Why do you want to avoid those? Because they're already getting bookings. All right. We're trying to create a, a supply and demand monopoly. What do I mean by that? All right. These people have the supply. The property is the supply and it's a demand for it, but they don't know how to harness the demand. What do I mean? Well, the super host and the guest favorite listings and stuff, they're getting all of the bookings and stuff. And there's reasons for that. So we want to find the people that have little to no reviews or little to no bookings, or it's been a long time since they had a booking or something like that, because those are the people that are desperate because don't forget, just because they listed on here don't mean they're getting bookings. And if you fix up a house, put all this money into it, uh, you still have to pay utilities. You still have to pay taxes on the property and all of that every year. If it's just sitting there, that real estate asset becomes a liability. It becomes a liability if it's not making money. So for those of you wondering like, well, why would they do this if they already have it on Airbnb or or why would they need us or something? Because it's not making them any money. It's taking money from them if they're not getting bookings, guys. They still have to pay people to like cut the grass, come over and make sure nobody broke in, check lock boxes, uh, uh, you know, get rid of spider webs, do all type of maintenance and all that type of stuff, even when nobody's living there. OK, so. Uh, I'll just give you guys a couple of examples. Look at this one right here. This one has no reviews so far. This one doesn't seem to have any reviews. It's $10,000 per month. This is $8,000 per month. We're going to open this one up real quick and see what's going on. Now, a lot of the times, uh, if they've been on here for a while, they have other listings that do have reviews. They might not just have reviews for this one yet because it's a brand new listing. So don't get cocky just because you find one that doesn't have reviews. So you want to do a little bit of background research. Only take a couple minutes, right? And then you'll see, oh, well, they have other properties and none of them have reviews either. So something's wrong here. OK, so we come in here. As you can see, we can check the dates. They're all booked. Uh, they're not booked up is what I mean. And they don't have any reviews yet. They're in a decent area. Clayton, Missouri, if you're not from Missouri like I am, then you don't know about that. But Clayton is a good, desirable area, especially if you come from out of town. So they don't have any listings, but they, uh, they don't have any bookings, but they've been on here seven months. Let's see if they have any other uh, you know, properties or whatever. We're going to click right here. OK. Yeah, two, two reviews. reviews. One from, both of the reviews are from 2019. That is 
terrible okay, okay. so oh, they need they us they, they need, need the money okay, okay. So, so what we do is we, we give you a script, script and, and the, the script, script guarantees them that by the end of the month they'll start being booked up consistently how do we guarantee that well that's inside the copy and paste rentals we pretty much optimize this we're going to take control of this because they don't have their listing uh, 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 optimized properly so airbnb has seo and google has seo you want to optimize your listing for google seo and for airbnb seo <clears throat> so how do we optimize for airbnb seo we optimize for airbnb seo using the amenities that people People are searching so if you look up here in the title right now you see that they don't really have any good you know like amenities in the title of this okay uh, but down here they have 21 amenities so what we want to do is we want to see the area okay so they're in Clayton or whatever what would people really be desiring for their apartment or their rental or whatever in that area that these people actually supply okay and what locations are they near okay so it's long term all right so we will put that in there you can put long term inside the actual title, guys. All right. So it has Wi-Fi. That's desirable for people that are traveling and everything like that. Uh, air conditioning is summertime right now. Don't forget, you guys can always change the titles and stuff. So when things change, when wintertime comes back, you can change that title from summertime home or whatever, blah, 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 or air conditioner to heating. You'll put heating in there instead. OK, so now <clears throat> another thing that gets the clicks on Airbnb uh, besides the amenities are locations. And the good thing about it is these locations are SEO optimized on Google. Like people are searching for these locations on Google. So if you remember that and you, since this is a parasite site, meaning is a platform that's huge and Google and trusted, you can kind of, I'm not telling you to, but you can kind of keyword stuff. Okay. So this, these are going to rank in Google and on Airbnb. And we show you how to do this inside the copy and paste rental. So let me give you an example. Instead of saying gorgeous second third floor what the hell is that talking about what, what what is this i don't understand what this is right like nobody's gonna book this because they don't know what this is talking about so this is an entire rental unit decent pictures i would have more pictures of the uh, home i mean the inside of the home the interior or whatever but let's go over here to google so we want to find a couple of uh keywords for this okay so we'll say clayton clayton missouri airbnb okay boom look at this this is a keyword right here. OK, so what we want to do is we want to start combining the uh, Google SEO keywords with the amenity or the Airbnb keywords. OK, so we got Clayton Vacation Rental Homes. OK, Clayton, Missouri Vacation Rentals. Nobody has uh, the exact match. Let's check to see if, how many exact match uh, we, we can find. OK. <laughs> Literally, nobody is using this exact match keyword in the title of their Airbnb listing. So we can combine some amenities. So what amenities are people actually searching for? So it says free parking included. Eh, that ain't really killing it for us. OK, so we got a private deck. See, they put all the good stuff right here. OK, it's near restaurants, drugstores, banks, updated kitchen and bath. Three bedroom is furnished. Well, it should be if it's on Airbnb. Um, but like I said, it has a dedicated workspace. We want to know what type of people will be hanging out in that area, right? Maybe they're you know entrepreneurs coming to town and all of that extra stuff. And like I said, it is um, you know summertime, so air conditioning would be a good thing to put on there. Wi-Fi would be a good thing to put on there. So we'll say uh, three bedroom, three bedroom Clayton, Missouri Airbnb includes Wi-Fi and um you know another one of these amenities and we'll name somewhere that is near like so people can know like what's a super desirable area so we can say clayton missouri uh airbnb near washington university uh you know and then we'll name a couple airbnb we'll name a couple amenities so three bedroom two bath clayton missouri airbnb near washington university boom it's a long title it'll fit though and a lot of people will know exactly where they're going to be and they'll be able to see that they're going to be near all of these extra stuff because guess what if they're near forest park there's a lot of events that go on there's a lot of stuff they can do and everything like that so once we start ranking for some of these keywords you want to treat these parasites or these platforms the same way you would do the seo on your actual websites remember that guys we ain't gonna get too deep into that but the point is guys like once you get them to agree to be your partner you're gonna remake the listing you're gonna make your own accounts you're not going to like remake it on theirs you want to control the asset so you can control the partnership and you can control the money so they're not selling so you're going to do a few tests and everything like that i don't believe it's the price that's the problem because that area is very popular right they're not selling for a couple reasons they don't have 
good optimization for visibility, all right? And they don't have any reviews. And we show you how to go about <laughs> solving that review problem. You're like, how do they get reviews and they don't get nobody booked? We solved that problem. We solved that inside the copy and paste rental. So now you know exactly how we would go about doing it. And you don't have to purchase any any properties. You don't have to buy no home on, on, on Amazon. Within the next couple of days, you can have a person agreeing with you, a new listing created and getting inquiries and maybe even a booking before the week is out just by doing what I'm showing you right now, okay? So copy and paste rentals is only 97 bucks in the first pin comment, okay, guys? And check this out. Look, Coach Keith, 140K in less than 90 days. He was doing party buses, but this is the same rental model, all right? If you don't make your first one to 3K in the first 14 days using this business model, it's the same business model as Airbnb, Tour Road, DoorDash, Uber. You're using somebody's assets to profit from it. You're like a pimp, <laughs> but you're doing it legally. You're using somebody's assets that have to do the fulfillment, have to do the maintenance, all of that stuff. But since you control the demand, this is what I'm going to teach you inside Copy and Paste Rentals. You control the demand, the leads, the, the business, the money. OK, the money comes to you and you give the partner that's doing the fulfillment their cut in to on to the next one. OK. All right. So if you don't make your first commission or sale in the first 14 days, we're going to pay you for every assignment successfully completed. Who else has said that? OK, so you want to actually do the assignment successfully complete them. OK, so there's endless testimonials. Most of the people are making money within 24 to 48 hours. You can come over here, but then you want to stop watching testimonials and become one. This is how you can make money with real estate.